Abstract offers magnificent sonic flexibility to anyone from film score composers to music producers and even sound designers. Working closely with our engineer Nick Wallage, we recorded Jobs' performances in exceptional detail, constructing multiple mix perspectives and covering everything from extreme close-up to far mixes. This allows you to find the perfect balance using traditional film score perspectives. To strike the right balance, we chose to record at British Grove Studios Studio One. It's known for its astonishing collection of vintage and modern gear, and most importantly, a great sounding live room. To achieve the result, a total of 15 microphones were used and then mixed to a total five different perspectives. Close mono, close stereo, mid, far, and a separate dedicated mix by Nick Wallach himself. For those who used our latest instrument Super Bowl, you'll be familiar with the layout of the interface and some of the tools that are available to further shape the sound. We carefully designed it so that at any one time you have access to a combination of two pages. These can be opened by clicking dedicated page tabs, global, mix and sequencer on the left and envelope and effects units on the right. Now let's have a look at the interface in more detail. In the global tab, the proximity fader smoothly moves between the four main positions, close mono, close stereo, mid and far. You can also access Nix mix via separate fader within the mix tab. The tune determines the tuning of the samples. The slider moves in the increments of a semitone. If Alt on Windows and Option on Mac is held, you can select a value in sense and command click returns it to its original state. Expression controls the instrument volume. Next is a velocity switch. It toggles between the velocity defined dynamic layers and manually specified dynamic layers. If set to the first one, then dynamic layer is determined by the intensity at which you strike the key. If set to the manually specified dynamic layers, then the dynamic layer is determined by the position of the slider, which by default is controlled via mod wheel. Then we have stereo width. This can be used to widen the stereo field or completely fold down to mono. Blur adds some blur and roundness to the sound, and gloss adds some bite and air. We also have a key switch selector. It allows you to define which key will activate the sequencer. If the sequencer is already switched on via the sequencer page, then the key switch will have no effect. Next up, mix tab. Here you have all the perspective faders. These control the level of each mic set perspective. Changing the value on the proximity fader will affect the positions of the perspective faders, but not vice versa. RAM switch allows you to choose either to load all samples or load only required samples. If active, only the necessary samples are loaded. This is defined by the proximity and individual mic position faders. If inactive, then all samples are always loaded. And as mentioned before, here's the Nick Wallages mix. It is a combination of all the mics. Therefore, it has not been intended to be used at the same time as other perspectives, but there is no reason why you can't if you want. Just remember, it's not part of the proximity fader setup. Here's the sequencer. We are extremely excited to present this great multifunctional arpeggiator slash sequencer. Due to the nature of the abstract sequencer, it unlocks an enormous amount of creative paths to explore sonic ideas. Abstract comes with a large number of presets, but we encourage everyone to use it to explore and build unique patterns themselves. No randomizer, only for the brave. Throw the dice and you might get lucky. The randomizer sets random pattern, step lengths will remain unchanged. If you would like to reset the sequencer to its original state at patch load, click reset. Clear, on the other hand, erases the entire grid so you can start from scratch. Sequence direction. Reverse the direction of the stepping, right to left, left to right, or bounce forward and backwards and forward and backwards. Sequence shift allows you to shift your sequence left and right. Each pattern you make can be saved and recalled later via these buttons here. There are a total of 32 steps and each of them can be controlled independently. To further shape the sequence, you can adjust the length of each step, add swing, change the direction of the sequence, or have it bouncing forwards and backwards, shorten, lengthen, or even shift the whole pattern left or right in circles. On top of that, each step can be transposed, and there are two drawing modes which allow you to draw any shape into the sequencer you want. 
To engage the sequencer, simply hit the switch on and hit the key. It will begin stepping when the number of active voices goes from 0 to 1. Similarly, it will stop stepping when the active voice count goes from 1 to 0. You can also use sequencer key switch to start stepping immediately when the sequencer is off. The sequencer can sequence anywhere from 1 to a maximum of 32 steps. Click the last active step above the step attenuator and drag left or right to decrease or increase the number of steps. When the sequencer is running, it will wrap around and jump to the beginning after it finishes the last step or bounce back if the direction mode was set to bounce. The sequencer will always begin stepping from the first comb depending on the stepping direction, which means if the reverse is switched on, the first step will be the far right, opposed to the far left if the reverse is switched off. Rhythm tree determines the duration of each step. Global step length increases or decreases the step length for all the steps, and global step strength increases or decreases the step dynamics for all the steps. Swing determines the amount of swing to apply to the pattern steps. Now more importantly, the step edit and draw curve modes. In step edit mode, you can set the step length for individual steps by clicking and dragging. Alt click and drag will snap to 0, 25%, 50%, 75% and 100%. In draw curve mode, the user can draw patterns by clicking and dragging over the entire grid step area. The step length will be as previously set by global step length or step edit mode. Now let's cover the right portion of the tabs. First, the envelope tab. It includes amp, filter and pitch ADSRs. Apart from a more traditional amp ADSR, you can use filter ADSR to control filter behavior upon each keystroke. For example, with the help of the filter envelope, you can determine the time for filter to open when you hit the key and the time at which it will close after you release the key. You can also experiment with the pitch ADSR. It can be used to control samples pitch upon each keystroke. Here you can also link amp and filter envelopes. If active, changes to the filter controls will be mirrored by the amp controls and vice versa. And lastly, the effects page. The effects page features a compact set of controls to shape and transform your sounds. Here you have a filter that contains three independent filters that can be used at the same time. Low pass, band pass, and high pass. When on, filter button will light up. To access filter settings, click on the type of filter you would like to adjust. We also have a tape saturator. Multiple saturation types are available, but only one is active at a time. The grade effect is switched off if the knob is turned all the way to the left, and it automatically switches on as the knob is turned right. Next is a convolution reverb, and Abstract comes with 65 custom impulse responses covering vast array of designed, experimental, and natural spaces. We also have got a delay, and here the delay free sync toggle button toggles the delay time parameter units between milliseconds and beats. If set to beats, then the time parameter is displayed in beats and synced to the host tempo. And last effect on this tab is the traditional chorus. And here you have it. Abstract. Really hope you enjoy playing it. Please like and subscribe. If, if you have any questions, please comment below or email us at info at sonicinema.com. Happy playing!